Hello and welcome to After Sound Review and this time I will review this BGVP NS9. This is actually one of the latest creation from BGVP and special thanks for BGVP for providing me with this review unit. Okay, this BGVP NS9 I could consider it as one of the most ambitious iron at its price point actually because it is using two dynamic drivers and seven balance armatures at only around 170 bucks which is uh, I've never heard that kind of configuration before if you ever know the sorry audio C audio and then the stage tone they are all around 170 bucks and they are all using one dynamic driver and two balancer material so this is the first time I see such kind of uh, configuration at this price point okay okay and like usual I will review them from the build fit frequency response sounds and comparison when it comes to the build I think this is built like a tank it is not really big but not really small either but it all feels great it feels quite heavy and it's all made of metal uh, to the nozzle itself is also made of metal so face plate shell and also nozzle it's all made of metal and you need to see that you will get some filters it's the filters is replaceable and it is said that it will change the sound and how to change them it's really easy you just unscrew them and you will get this kind of look and then you just screw them back so yeah that's it it's very easy to change the filter and then the cable is using mmcx connector and it feels quite good it's hard to rotate in my ear so it feel, uh, yeah it just feels good and then the cable itself is twisted and braided and actually the color scheme is actually really similar to the mast yes i have tried a unique melody mask before and this black and white and the build quality and also the thickness is actually really reminds me of the cable that is used on the unique melody mask okay and then the fitting um, i have a mixed feeling about this because no matter what i when i'm using the ear tips from the default ear tips from the bgvp i have a little discomfort thanks to how thick they are they are actually quite thicker than regular ear tips and then the nozzle itself is quite wide actually so my ears feels like it is opened by force like that i couldn't use them for hours but just simply change the ear tips using the maybe like monoprice orthophone spin fit or just like this one i'm using this is the stock ear tips from Woodrop Cactuses and it fits my ears in a really good way. I have to take note that I have quite small ears. Thus, uh, when I'm using these ear tips with that kind of wide nozzle, I feel definitely uh, somehow a little discomfort. But change the ear tips and that problem goes away. And then when it comes to the sound, I will use my FX DST, Qlix 5K, and also iBasso DX160 as my source. And here's my playlist. Okay, from the frequency response of this BGVP NS10, I could simply categorize this as simply warm. Thanks to how big the mid to sub bass is, you can see the elevation is astonishing. And then the upper mid range treble itself is actually not really pushed forward so if i compare them so the harmon response i am like dance gym oxygen oxygen is ha uh, have lower base here and also more forward upper mid range area so yeah ns is definitely warmer than the harmon response and you know that there's you get several filters with this bgv ns9 and this red filter is actually doing nothing in this frequency response and the strange thing is even though i'm using one filter on the left side and the red filter on the you know i'm switching the filters right and left right and left i don't hear any significant difference between them so i i'm not sure that the red filter is actually doing anything and even i have tried several of my friends and they 
couldn't really differentiate them either but the silver filter although it doesn't really show that much of a difference yes there's a little bit difference and this difference is consistent how many times I measure it in the same position and with the same ear tips it's always like this and I need to say that this difference is noticeable you might not really see it in this frequency response but when you hear them one the silver filter and the other is the red filter or the default filter the silver filter is definitely noticeably uh, brighter and somehow not as thick as the default filter but overall it still sounds warm okay so from the frequency response itself it is easy to see that this BGVPN S9 is simply can be categorized as warm. The bass is incredible. The sub bass for <laughs> you see this that the sub bass emphasizes really out of this world, and then the mid range and treble is not really forward. So yes, that's uh, the thing that I'm hearing. The bass is so big, and then the mid range and treble is a little bit subdued and a little bit recessed maybe compared to the bass itself. Okay, starting from the base. Oh, wait a minute. I need to tell that these filters, like the frequency response, actually the red filters and the default filters, I don't really hear any difference at all. But the silver filter definitely changed something that makes the sounds somehow more airy, but not in a good way. It's just a strange airy. It feels like it's too forced for me. It's coming out in a very unnatural way the bass is still there but the gap between the bass and the mid and treble is getting wider so the incoherencies using the silver filters is not really good so what i'm reviewing here is using the default filter which i think which i feel is the most proper okay starting from the bass itself it is such a huge thick and deep bass that may please a lot of bass head out there if you like EDMs, if you like pop songs with good bass punch and good texture and really goes deep and with big volume I guess this is it, this is for you, you need to try them and try maybe using some EDM songs that you know maybe here I show them to my uh, bass head friend and I play only one song, this is the from All City, Fred Allo Black, you know, The Verge. And the refrain part, he loves it so much that because of the how deep and big the bass is, it's just like really like a subwoofer feeling to it. But the mid range area is not really good. So the bass is special, either you like it or not. The bass is quite special, but not really fast. So if you like metal songs or rock songs that has a lot of speed in the bass, you won't really get that in this BGVP NS9. And then the mid range itself is really playing safe because I hear no sharp edges, I hear no uh, sharpness there, and I hear no sibilance at all. But sometimes it could be playing too safe. Because here's the thing, I love Harman response. For me, the vocal is really great in Harman IM, such like Moondrop KXSS, Tanjim Oxygen, and also the Moondrop S8. And for me, this is too safe. I don't hear the female vocals when she scream, especially in the female vocal from Asian like Aimer, or maybe Joyce Chu, or maybe uh, Sindian. I don't really hear such power coming out from their mouth so it's just playing too safe for me and then the treble itself is also actually it's not dark for me you can hear some sparkle up there but the amount of energy in the treble area is not good it's not big enough to give bright area or satisfying some of the treble heads or maybe neutral heads it is not neutral of course because it is too smooth so if you like sparkles in your IM this won't give you a lot of sparkles but for me it's not dark either so it's a almost dark maybe and then the technicalities 
if you're expecting a lot of separation thanks to its configuration using two dynamic drivers and seven balance armature honestly you won't really get this here so here's the thing i have tried a lot of ims at this price point and i'm not gonna say that even though this is the most driver i found in such a price point for me the separation itself is not really good so don't expect such thing but i'm not saying it's bad either it's just when you expect seven drivers to giving such a high level of separation you won't get that it's just okay ish it's not bad either and then the sound stage is definitely quite huge it's quite wide with a lot of depth but you don't get that height dimension here thanks to almost no sparkle in the treble area and how is it compared to some ims around its price point this is one of my benchmark until today the moon drop kxss for me the tonality is really on point and also the technicalities is also not really bad either even though it is only using a single dynamic driver okay for me honestly the kxss again this is quite subjective maybe because i like how many response i am KXS definitely feels much more balanced for me compared to the NS9. The base is smaller but it fits my preference better and also the midrange is more forward and somehow having um, more energy especially in the female vocals. And then I also hear some sparkles that I don't really get in this BGV NS9. But that being said, the bass is definitely pale compared to the BGV NS9 because of how powerful the bass in the BGV NS9 is. And also, maybe for you who are really sensitive to higher frequencies and female vocals, you maybe will not really suit this Mondrop KSSS and yeah i have friends like that maybe bgvp ns9 will give you better performance because how safe the tuning is it is really safe tuning and then this is the brand from germany the stage stone this is the four acoustic stage stone 2 plus i have reviewed them before it is using a single dynamic driver and two balancer mature at around 170 bucks but I could say when I hear some quiet complicated songs like orchestra or maybe like the Kenshi Onizu, the Campanella, I could hear a little bit better separation in this BG eh, sorry, in this stage on 2 plus compared to the BGVP NS9 even though it is definitely using lesser driver here. But for me this BGVP NS9 is actually really potential when you EQ them when you give lesser bass area you will get better separation actually so the bass bleed from the bass itself is actually giving such a hazy foggy feeling to the mid and also the treble area thus giving it less separated uh, instruments when you hear a lot of instruments in the song but when you lessen the, the bass area actually you will get that more balanced presentation from this bgvp and you will get that better level of separation but still not as good as the stage on 2 plus and it's a little bit better than the kxss even though at the default point for me kxss is actually a little bit better in the separation and also the detail area but if you lower the base a lot for <laughs> to the point where it sounds more balanced for me BGVP NS9 is a little bit better than the KXSS when it comes to separation. So BGVP NS9 in the end is a special IM. For me it is special because of how the bass presentation it gives. It It's one of a kind, maybe the best at its price point for bass heads who love that what of really big something bass. For me it's quite funny because they use a lot of balance armature driver for the mid and the treble area but honestly for me the special part is definitely the bass and also maybe the tuning that is so safe that it will attract some people who like it um, who like their song to be really safe in the mid and treble area so i think that's it 
for me BGV PNS9 is a really good IEM if you like a really huge amount of bass and also a relaxed presentation for the mid-range and treble. I hope you like today's review. If you have any comments, please write down in the comments below. See you next time. Bye-bye.